Okay friends, thanks for joining me again. This is the final video in my series about the greenhouse through the seasons. This is the spring greenhouse. Uh, the spring greenhouse is the greenhouse when people typically think of a greenhouse for. Um, and that's why I did this whole series is to show you that, you know, there are other uses for a greenhouse as well. But just like um, everyone assumes, uh, the spring greenhouse is definitely a time when there are lots of seedlings and things like that for your spring planting. So let me just show you a few things I have. Here are some uh, strawberries I'm going to be putting. I'm going to put some in the backyard this year. I had a bunch in the front yard last year. Um, here are some marigolds, quite a few of those. They're all blooming and pretty and ready to get planted into the ground. I interplant those with my, uh, my other plants. And a lot of, you know, um, other seedlings, you know, this is a whole tray of tomatoes and stuff. These are all overflow from the other greenhouse I have. I have a small one attached to my house and a, a larger one detached from my yard that I just made last year. Um, and so I'm having a plant sale uh, with the help of my children. And we're going to uh, be selling those here in a couple days. But these are all just overflow from the, the other greenhouse. So some, some of those and some um, peppers and things like that. And again, these are all just overflow. And then, of course, all of the... Uh, plants that I had uh, that I showed you in the other video, uh, just lemon and lime and orange tree and then the figs and things like that, those are all doing well. Little lemons growing, real cute. I have some bare roots down here. Um, I showed you in that one video uh, how to plant bare roots in pots, as I did with the strawberries. Uh, those That really helps their survival rate. <coughs> Excuse me. Some onions and some chives, some vining crops, lots of different things to plant out in the garden. These are all again for the plant sale. Some basil. And then here on this other plant rack I have a bunch of stuff I have set aside for me. Uh, these three trays are all going to be going in my garden. And then I have another one set aside for my mom so I can go plant her in her garden. These trays are actually chuck full. I mean every one of these. There was no room in here whatsoever to put anything. Every square foot of extra space and even some on the floor um, but then I moved a whole bunch of them outside so that they could get hardened off so yeah the greenhouse was really full of plants and lots of fun stuff to plant in the garden so that's definitely number one um, thing that the, some, the spring greenhouse is useful for but I definitely do want to point out one thing real quick um, the spring greenhouse is also the messiest greenhouse and shortly after all of this stuff gets planted I will definitely need to go through and clean and it is just not real pretty. But you guys are my friends so I guess I could show you. But there's lots of debris on the floor, leaves to get cleaned up and just the, the panels back here all need scrubbed. They've got all sorts of sticky stuff and extra splash back from different stuff I was using to help control the insects and things and so it's definitely very messy. There's lots of things to prune. I have lots of leaves that are kind of dead and I need to, to clean off and everything. And So yeah that's definitely something to consider if you're thinking about getting a greenhouse. You definitely want to consider that uh, you know after all of this uh, is done you, you need to do a good job cleaning up the greenhouse, wiping off all the panels and you know uh, scrubbing off all the all the surfaces where the plants sat, you know, because those are obviously very messy and vacuuming and sweeping the floor and all that and just doing a good job cleaning up after all of this so that it's ready for the fall. I do all that once all these plants are emptied out and then I uh, let it sit empty all summer long. So that's point number two. Uh, and then the last thing I want to address is something that mm, maybe all of the people who are a little bit more against uh, having a greenhouse seem to uh, talk about a lot and that's the fact that you know a greenhouse can overheat and the spring greenhouse is the only time of year when I ever have problems with making sure the heat is low enough that the plants are happy so let me go ahead and show you how it is that I make sure the greenhouse never overheats so here on the other side from inside my actual house we have the fan I remember showing this to you in that video about how I heat my house with the greenhouse and I actually paid a little bit extra of money for this fan. As you can see here, there are two knobs that control each side, and they say intake and exhaust. If I set them to intake, that means all the air is going to be blowing in the house. 
So when I want the heat from the greenhouse in the house, I set them to intake so that they blow this way. These are cool in that they have the blades that make it to where if you switch it to the other way, exhaust, it'll actually take the air that's in here and push it out. So that helps to keep the greenhouse from overheating. I have it set to where if it gets above 75 degrees, it's going to automatically turn on high and all that air is going to be blowing in there. So on the other side of the wall here, Ooh, I need to clean that too, obviously. All that dirt. Anyway, so the fan is blowing all of the air out um, of this window. And then, as you can see here, I have uh, a section of my greenhouse, this panel here, on the roof that opens. And it's just exactly opposite from where the fan is. So whenever the heat builds up in here, because obviously heat rises, it's all going to come, you know, the sun's going to come in, all the air in here is going to warm up. It's going to go up to the top of the greenhouse. Then this fan is blowing all the cooler air from inside the house out and across. And it makes it so that this greenhouse really doesn't overheat. And all it takes is the, the one fan. Sometimes I have had issues where if it's above, I would say, 80 or even a little above that, 85. Uh, you know, which is actually really warm for where I live here. We don't usually get weather that warm. But we will actually put a shade cloth up here um, on top of the greenhouse. So that's my second line of defense. When um, we want the heat, you know, because May is kind of a month when it flip-flops, you know, I can very easily just switch this fan to pull the air in and shut this window. Um, when I want no heat in my house, the heat's already, you know, the house is warm enough and I don't need any more, I just switch it, it all vents out, and then uh, if it's really overheating and it's, uh, you know, abnormally warm, there it goes, turns off all by itself. Anyway, so if it's abnormally warm, um, then I just go ahead and throw that shade cloth on the top, which I have not needed this year. It's been a nice cool spring, so. Yeah, so that's how I help keep my greenhouse from overheating. It's definitely um, something I appreciate that I planned out to work that way, um, so that it wouldn't end up getting too hot in here, and it works really well. Let's see. Move the basil here, maybe we can get a good temp temp reading. So it's below 80. Like I said, the fan is set to turn off right when it gets to about 75, so it's probably right around there, maybe a little bit more. But that's definitely well within the range that all the plants are happy and they're all excited for me to plant them outside. <laughs> and I'm really excited to plant them all outside myself. So, all right, there you go. The spring greenhouse full of new plant starts and everything for your garden. Uh, definitely keep in mind that you're going to have to clean it once this is all done and help to keep it from overheating should that be an issue. That's really easy to take care of and it doesn't require anything expensive like an air conditioner or anything like that. Just a simple fan and a good design will help keep it, you know, the heat to a minimum. So thank you for joining me in this series. I appreciate uh, your support and everything and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.